Hey everybody, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to build a multi-AI agent system uh, app uh, within the banking analysis uh, sector. So this app is going to allow the user, all in Python, to choose one of the banks, let's say Wells Fargo, and then once the bank is chosen, it's going to activate two AI agents. This first AI agent that was activated is the researcher. Right, as you can see here, we're working agent, senior research analyst. And this researcher is going to, like it says here, conduct a comprehensive analysis of the latest, latest news about Wells Fargo. Right? So once it uses Tavali's search results module to search the web about Wells Fargo, it will provide all of this information to the second AI agent, the working the bank content strategist, this one right here. The writer and this writer agent is going to rob, write a blog post from all the information researched by the res, uh, research agent and once the blog post is finalized it's going to show our blog post here about Wells Fargo and its impact in the US uh, banking system so all of this is using this code right here uh, if you want to um, follow the code along with me as we go through the video just go to the Charming Data uh, free and open um, platform where we learn AI and data visualization together in a community. And what do we have about 200 and something uh, members so far, 250 uh, members. Uh, and this is part of the September project that we are working on together as a community to build a multi-AI agent system. Juan, our community member from Charming Data, actually built this app where we have all the banks from the Federal Reserve of the US and then we have a space for the user to write a command or request for a certain graph. The AI agent that builds graphs is actually building this graph and returning the code that you can see here below. So this app right here we're going to combine into Juan's app next week. For now we're just going to build these two AI agents that think and work together to create this uh, banking analysis. All right, so uh, as always, the links for uh, the Charming Data platform, the code, and uh, Juan's app are all under the video. Uh, let's go into the code and go into it one by one. So here we're, we are using Crew AI. Crew AI is a free open source a library based on Python, and it allows you to create agents uh, very easily, quickly, and efficiently uh, without too much code. It sits on top of Langchain, so it takes advantage of the Langchain uh, platform. And we are mostly using uh, this example, right? I tweaked it, but it's very, very similar to this example right here. All right, so let's take a look. We import all our libraries. We are going to connect to our ENV file that you can see here. We're inside the banking folder. The ENV file is right here. Inside the ENV file, I have my keys, the OpenAI key and the Tavili key that I downloaded from for free uh, once I signed up through my Google account uh, using these, these um, uh, websites. So if you want an OpenAI key, you go here. And if you want a Tavili key, uh, you go here. And you can get both of these for free. And then we activate the Tavili search uh, class. It will use a Tavili key to, uh, to allow the agent um, to search the web for the most recent news. So this is our first agent, right? This is how we define an agent in Crew AI. We just say agent, we call it a researcher. The role is gonna be just a title from real life, like a senior research analyst. This is gonna be their goal. Pause the video if you wanna read more into it. Uh, the backstory, you would give it kind of like a backstory to every agent uh, to talk about its expertise and give it like a personality. Uh, it's verbose, so we are going to see how the agent thinks out loud, as you can see here. And allow delegation false. And the tools we're going to use is the search tool for Tavili. Now, in the future, we'll see other tools. We can create our own custom tools through functions, or you can import tools from Crew AI or from Langchain that are already built by these libraries. In this case, we only need an internet search tool. And then our writer agent is gonna be a banking content strategist. Uh, backstory, you are a famous content strategist known for insightful, engaging articles. Um, 
maybe I could have put stuff like you're also working at a, a banking think tank that is an expert in the banking system, specifically the top four banks of the US. So this is where you define kind of like the, the background and personality of the agent. And this is going to be the goal. It's not a task, it's just a goal to craft com com compelling content from news on the selected banks. It's a very general goal. And allow delegation because if it doesn't have the information it needs, it will delegate um, its task or ask more questions of this researcher so you can write the blog post that it needs to write. And then we have a layout, right? We're just going to use markdown and drop downs in this title, multi AI agent system. Let's put this together so you can see. Here we have our title right here. And then uh, regular label, choose the bank you would like to your AI to research and write a blog post on. The drop down is just a list. Now, when we connect this to Juan's app, the list is going to come from this data set from the Federal Reserve. For now, just a simple list of three strings, three banks. And then the, uh, the answer of the AI agent writer, the blog post, is going to go here underneath. So what's happening is, let me refresh this, everything happens in the callback, this interactivity. This callback is kind of like the whole app, right? We're going to take the input, which is going to be the value of the topic. Topic is the idea of the dropdown. So we're going to take the value of the dropdown, which initially is none, right? So this equals none right here. And because if this is none, it says if the bank chosen is none, then return no update, don't do anything. Because initially we see this is none. But if it's not none, if we're actually selecting a bank, let's choose uh, JP Morgan, then we're going to execute all this code right here, right? All this code right here. And once we execute everything, we're going to return the result, the raw format of the result, right here underneath the drop down, which is the children. This is the output, the children of the answer placeholder. So the result is going to be returned right here, result.raw. This is how it's returned, right? Because every object that we return in a callback is returned to the value, to, to the component um, property of the output, which in this case is the children. Okay, so you see now beautiful four paragraphs um, blog post. And why four? Because we said here, write it in four paragraphs. I think it was in the task, four paragraphs, right? So let's see, let's see what we did. We said we chose a JP Morgan Chase and we said task one. Now this belongs, remember, to the agent researcher. Conduct a comprehensive analysis of the latest news about JP Morgan, <coughs> sorry, JP Morgan Chase. Identify key trends, investments, loans, research how microeconomic factors such as interest rates might impact the bank's performance. And then we're going to provide a full analysis reports in bullet points. Now we're not going to show this. This information is going to be fed to agent number two. So, he, so agent number two can um, execute task number two using the insights provided. Develop an engaging blog post that highlights the latest concerns and projections of JP Morgan Chase. Support your arguments with key financial metrics and the output is going to be a full blog post in the format of four paragraphs. So he talks about microeconomic factors. The rapid expansion has not gone unnoticed by regulators. Very interesting. And this is like hopefully recent news. That's the idea of the researcher. And this task number two is the writer agent. And here's we build our crew, right? Our AI agent crew. The agents are the researcher and writer. The task, task one for researcher, task two for writer, verbose true, so we can actually see what it's thinking and how it's thinking. And then process sequential, you can go in here to see the different processes, but I think it's sequential or parallel. So sequential is one agent does the work first and then the other agent does the next job. Kickoff, kind of like to start the, the crew, and then you return the results. And this is how we get this beautiful a multi-AI system that works together to do a market analysis or bank analysis or any type of analysis you want to do. We're going to work with multi-AI system in the uh, many more months to come in all the future projects of Charming Data. So this is a great opportunity to join this open and uh, public um, 
community where we learn AI and uh, data visualization together. So come join us. Come help us out with a project. Come join our Monday morning uh, meetup where we talk about projects and AI and apps that we build together. I hope you learned a lot. As always, any questions in the YouTube uh, uh, comments below. Um, always remember we're better together, so help each other out.